weather time. Sunny skies this afternoon. Nice to see and uh, something to really kind of, you know, savor here while we can because we have some first alert weather days ahead. First alert meteorologist Patrick Pete, you know, you're going to be the bearer of the bad news here. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, we're talking about a system, multiple systems, actually, multiple pulses of energy going to bring multiple rounds of rain as we head into the weekend and into the beginning of next week. We're tracking three first alert weather days for your Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Uh, once again, this will not be a continuous event when those pulses come in at times that rain could be heavy. We are expecting widespread two to three inches, uh, but guidance is hinting that we could have some spots to pick up as much as four. So really going to be watching this as the heaviest of that rain looks to arrive late Sunday night into Monday, and most of you are going to be getting on the roads Monday for work. Uh, so that means that we could have some slippery roads, possibly some isolated flooding. So this is just your official heads up. Be prepared for it as you make your way back to the office and as you make your weekend plans. Meanwhile, first alert radar are pretty quiet this evening. Uh, we're dealing with mostly clear skies. Gorgeous weather out there. 63 degrees here in Atlanta, 62 Chambly Marietta, 61 in Lawrenceville, 64 Cartersville, 67 degrees right now over in Rome. Folks in Athens a little bit cooler, uh, but 60 degrees is not a bad number for that. So uh, over the course of the next few hours, all of our temperatures are going to gradually fall. If you download the first alert weather app, you have the hour by hour breakdown for your neighborhood here in Midtown. I expect us to get to 62 degrees by the five o'clock hour under sunny skies sliding into the 40s as we head into the evening. And by the time we wake up tomorrow morning, we'll be in the mid to upper 30s across most of the region and the day is going to improve. It will be a couple of degrees cooler than we were today, but still above average 56 is the mark and we'll get there easily upper 40s as you're taking your lunch break, getting into the mid 50s for the early part of the afternoon. Most of us will top out near 60 degrees around three and four o'clock. And if you were thinking about stepping out for wind down Wednesday, not a bad night. This time of year, reds on the menu, Tempranillo 49 degrees at the eight o'clock hour. Clouds will build through the overnight and then we'll see cloudy Thursday with temperatures in the upper 50s, low 60s. You'll see by Friday we start to introduce some rain chances. We don't expect Friday's showers to make it to most of us and we don't expect it to be in Impactful, pretty light in nature, but if you're in the North Georgia mountains or north of the city, expect to see uh, some spotty showers, but the better rain chances will arrive as we head into the weekend. So here are those light showers Friday afternoon and into the early evening. You can see that doesn't really sink further south, but by Saturday, we're watching some of this rain push into the area. The first alert weather day starts Saturday, continues through the evening and into the start of your Sunday. Some folks will have some showers around Sunday morning as they head to church, expecting another wave as we head into the evening. This is going to impact a lot of you leaving a lot of these Super Bowl parties, so be prepared for it. Maybe uh, do a Lyft, Uber, have a designated driver because we do expect those showers uh, to be intermittently heavy at times, and we'll see that linger into the start of your Monday. Widespread rain Monday morning into the early afternoon. First alert weather day continuing into the start of the work week, and those rain chances are actually sticking around into Tuesday. Here's a look at those rain totals, and uh, these models have been a little bit aggressive with this, but we do expect widespread two to three with some isolated inches up to four in some places, so we'll watch for that. Meanwhile, temperatures trend a little bit warmer through the end of the work week, mild and rainy for the weekend, and then we cool into the mid 50s by next Tuesday.